Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. Today we're going to be working inside of the Helix 2 template and I'm going to show you how to implement the buttons that are actually hard coded into the Helix 2 template and Joom Shaper actually provides us with the short code but if you've ever messed around with the buttons you've probably found out that the short code doesn't always work the way you want it to work. So I figured out a way to to use the button feature and to kind of get around the short code and it works perfect. You know, you're not going to spend all day trying to, you know, get the button to look the way you want it to look or color it the way you want it to color it. it just trust me. So we're going to jump right in and just get right into this. So let's log into our Joomla template and we're going to actually do this in a module. So you'll want to slide over to your module manager and if you don't know how to create a module, I mean you can follow along in this tutorial. You can also go back and check out some of my previous tutorials and it'll guide you through the process. Nevertheless, it's not too complicated and I think you could probably figure it out just by following along. So we're going to click on new. And we're going to slide down to custom HTML. Let's go ahead and name this uh, just button. And uh, usually I like to kind of, you know, name these what they are and where they're located as in like what page they're on. Um, maybe even what position they're in just so you know if you have, once you have a bunch of modules um, and you want to make some changes to your website it's kinda nice to know what they are and where they're located so you're not going through and looking at each individual one trying to figure that out so we're gonna assign this to just the home page And we'll hide the title and this is you know just for this tutorial I'm gonna stick this in say bottom one sounds good okay so like I said there are a couple different ways that you can go about you know creating a button right we could slide over to our good friends at um, Joom Shaper and we could get the code for the button right and let's go back and let's try that so let's say we want to use the primary button right so we would go Uh, one other thing um, before we save this, when we're using any of these kind of features in a module, we want to go to the options and turn on prepare content. If you don't, if you don't do this, the only thing you're going to see on the front end of your website is the code that you just typed in. It won't work. Um, if you're doing this like in a content area, like you know, on your home page or one of the pages that you've created, and you're actually in the content area, the article, you don't need to worry about that. There's not even an option to do that. So let's go ahead and just save this and see what it looks like on the front end. Okay. So we have our little primary button, right? Okay, but that doesn't look like our primary button over here in Joom Shaper. You know, it's blue. Um, ours is white. Whoops, is white. So, okay, so that's not really working. Now we could go in and edit some of the CSS or create an override, but really there's got to be an easier way 
and there is. So we could we could do it like this too. We could um, go into our styles, and we could go to the primary button area, or let's say we want it to be red. Let's say we want a danger button, okay? And we'll just write danger, and we'll click save. And we'll refresh our page. And there's our danger button. But it doesn't even look like a button. That's horrible. I don't want anything like that on my website. This is what you want. You want the button that has the rollover feature. You know, nothing. I don't even know why they did that. So, and the short code really doesn't work. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go and we're going to toggle our editor and we're going to actually go into the custom HTML or excuse me. We're going to do it in HTML. And we are going to delete this. And now we can code our button the way we want it to look. Forgive me if I am not the best typer in the world and probably not the fastest neither. Okay, so this is the code we're going to use. And let's go ahead and click save. And this would be the same for any of the buttons that you want to use. If you want to use the danger, it would be button dash danger or so on and so forth, right? So let's go ahead and refresh our page. And now you'll see that we have the actual button that we were trying to get in the first place with the rollover and all the good stuff. Now, you click on it, we go nowhere, right? Well, it's not linked to anything. So, if we want this to link to, let's say, an outside website or another page, then we would create the button in a different way. And this is probably going to be the way that you're going to want to do it. Because who just wants a button that doesn't go anywhere, right? So we're going to go open alligator mouth, as I like to say. And we're going to do the old infamous ref equals. And wherever you want to go. actually going to link this to my website and the website that we're working on right now this is a cloud access website if you don't know you can actually go to cloudaccess.net and um, create a free website you can either create a Joomla website or a WordPress and um, um, they're going to give you you know one of their subdomains but it's good practice it's free and you can practice all day long on your website and when you're done you can just download it and um, actually upload it to a live server or you can pay for their hosting but it's rather pricey
and when you close this you're just going to use the closing tag like this all right now let's click save and we will refresh this as you see it changed the click here and you can see down there at the bottom that's going to take us to my other website and there you have it guys that is it for this tutorial on the buttons um, if you have any questions comments or concerns put them at the bottom I will um, put a link up to the code for both buttons um, both ways that you can implement the button at the bottom of this tutorial if this helped you out in any way please give it a quick thumbs up share it with your friends uh, spread it around on Facebook and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel have a great day and we'll see you in the next tutorial